And this is my recap review of Married at First Sight. And this is for Ben and Morgan. I do separate reviews on all the couples. So please be sure to check out my other videos. At the end of this video, there'll be a link and you can click on it and move on to the other couples. But this is for Ben and Morgan. And I want to say, um, what is happening to Ben? I'm like, is he disappearing uh, before our very eyes on the screen here? There is something I'm figuring out about Ben. Uh, ben doesn't have an identity. Ben doesn't even know who he is. He doesn't even know uh, what he wants. And he doesn't know how to stand up for himself for the things he wants. Now, this probably goes back to his mama. Because if what you remember he said about his mama was that she was very nitpicky. And he said she was very hard to please. And so when you grow up with a person who's very nitpicky and hard to please, you spend a lot of time trying to please them. So what happens is you, leave, you lose yourself. And Ben also told us that he was in a profession as an engineer that he got no joy out of. Absolutely none. So he says on the side, he's doing this other stuff like training and whatever else. And that's part of his driving force to end um, being an engineer because he really is unhappy in the field and it doesn't fulfill him. Once again, doing something that doesn't fulfill him. When he was on the after party, he started talking about or They were talking about how a Justin was crying over him and Morgan's argument. And when they asked him how he felt about Justin uh, crying, Ben said it was his fault. I said, what? How is it your fault that Justin is crying over you and Morgan? And what Ben's rationale was in his head was that if he hadn't overreacted to Morgan and he hadn't been so impulsive, then he wouldn't have gone to Justin and he wouldn't have vented to Justin and therefore Justin wouldn't be crying. A what? So you're responsible uh, for a Justin's a reaction to you because you're saying you were impulsive and you overreacted to Morgan. So you are taking on uh, that as well. So here we have Ben who takes on the emotions of his mother. He's probably picking a career based on what his parents want him to do. He's taking the blame for Justin, uh, telling, his, telling it to Alexis and, and Justin crying. And if I flip it all the way back, He's assuming way too much responsibility for this Morgan thing, and she's more than happy to put it all on his feet. Uh, ben is now assumed, I don't, first of all, how did we get to the betrayal for Morgan is now just about that Ben says she was an RN and she's not. First of all, that was a betrayal because what Morgan said was, I told you a secret and you told someone which means that what she originally said the betrayal was, was the fact that she had lied on her application and said she had a BS degree or BN degree, BSN degree, and he told the secret to Justin. Now, this episode, we don't hear nothing about the um, lying on the application. It's all about uh, Ben saying she wasn't a nurse or RN, but she really was. Well, that's not betrayal. That's ignorance and confusion. That's two different things. That's like if someone told me, um, you're not really no engineer. I said, yeah, I am. I really am an engineer. I'm an engineer. I don't feel betrayed. I just feel like uh, you got the facts wrong and you told the story wrong. But that's not betrayal. See, now Morgan is mixing up stuff. She's mixing up the line about the degree with the confusion over the RN a degree and whether or not she's an RN or not. So now when she's talking to Pastor Cal and everyone else, it's all about the confusion over if I'm an RN. I really am an RN. Well, what about the lie, Morgan? And because Ben is always so willing to take on other people's emotions and feelings like he did with Justin, his mama, and everything else, he takes on Morgan's, and now she has no responsibility whatsoever. See, this is what happens. When you're willing to take the blame for everyone else, then they have uh, no responsibility. Uh, no, Justin needs to account why he's crying over somebody else's marriage. Uh, Morgan needs to account for uh, why all her walls are up over just because someone said you, you want an RN. You ending a whole marriage over that? I don't believe it. And here's the problem with Morgan. Morgan loves to have an excuse to keep her walls up. And this is what I said about Stasha, Alexis, everybody. People who have walls up, 
This is their paramount thing they want to do is create layers between them and you. So it's more difficult to get to them because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to protect themselves. They're trying to insulate themselves. And now what Morgan has been handed is an excuse to keep her walls up. She don't want to tear them down anyway. He just gave her an excuse. And now the excuse she's using is not the BSN degree because then she'd have to take accountability for that. She's using a whole mix up over the RN degree. So now I do, I got to withhold all my love, all my affection because you went and told somebody I wasn't an RN, but I really am. Really? This is all it takes to spook you, Morgan? No. This is just an excuse to keep up the walls Morgan already has, a uh, period. All this tight wadness and cheapness that Ben has, maybe this is his way of exercising his control in his own life where he can control his money, control these things, because maybe he feels out of control in other areas of his life. Maybe he feels that so many other people have control over him in other areas emotionally. Maybe with this money and electricity and do this and do that, these strict rules is where he can exercise control. Because let me tell you, he has no control in the emotional, in his emotional world. He's obviously given away to his mama. He's given it away to Morgan now, and he gave it away uh, to Justin. So maybe this is where he exercises his control in his life. I don't know. He might need some therapy, y'all, because this is actually getting a little bit deep. Because I can tell you right now, uh, I can tell you right now that Ben's not interested in Morgan. They're not a good match. I wholeheartedly believe it. But I think what he's now stuck in, the wheels turning, is ple it's going to be to please her. Because that's just where he is. I think he is a pleaser, and it doesn't matter who it is, he's going to want to please them. Because even in that after party, uh, Nate was throwing Justin under the bus, saying everything he did wrong. And when they asked Ben, uh, do you think uh, Justin was wrong with the dog? He goes, I don't know. I don't know how I would have reacted. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, anybody can tell you should have done something differently. Even Kristen, who always has nice things to say, I uh, said, you know what? Um, things could have been done a little bit differently. And Ben said, hey, he didn't even know the whole story with Justin. So here he is venting and opening up to Justin, and Justin ain't even telling him the whole story of what happened with the dog and how bad his dog beat up on Alexis's dog. Ben was like, I didn't even know it was that bad. But Ben absolutely does not have any sort of um, sexual attachment to a, a, a any, I don't think Ben has any type of attachment to Morgan. I think he was really in touch with what he really wanted. He would discover that he's not attracted to Morgan and he don't want to be with her. Right now, he is stuck in trying to please her, please his mama, and please everyone else. He doesn't want to disappoint his family for a failed marriage, and that's why he's trying hard. But just like that job of engineering, he don't want Morgan, and I am standing strong on that. He does not want Morgan. He may not even know he don't want Morgan, but he absolutely does not want Morgan. When he came over to her house to see her apartment, he was like, hey, hey, what's up? What's up, bro? He talks to her like he, like she's one of the fellas. And when and Pastor Gal was sitting with them and saying, uh, maybe you guys can start having some PDA, he patted her on the back and he was like, oh, what, man? That's not how you do it. Uh, He's not interested in Morgan. I'm telling you, uh, Ben needs to find his own identity and discover who he is because I feel like he's been living his life a long time of uh, pleasing other people and doing things what other people want him to do and not enough of what he should be doing for himself. When he said Morgan was a caring person and he said when he got home, she made him a burrito and he was all happy saying she's a caring person. Really? Really? If I make you a burrito, that automatically makes me a caring person. That's it. That's the low bar. Okay. Okay, Ben, gotcha. You know, this Morgan is all too willing to go along with this. Another thing Morgan said she was upset about was because uh, when they were on the honeymoon, they had a clear conversation and she said, there's two things we can't talk about, uh, family and finances. Isn't that ironic that the two things you can't talk about are the two things that are most important to Ben? <laughs> and the two things where you seem to have a problem with, uh, finances with all that student loan debt and family because you got a lot of family issues with your daddy. So it's so interesting that the two uh, topics of conversation off the table are family and finances. And what she's saying is uh, he talked about both. And as a result, there's a flag on the plate. So Morgan created all the rules. And now Ben is taking all the heat and taking all the blame for it. This is ridiculous, y'all. And no matter how much Ben is apologizing, saying he's sorry, uh, Morgan is still saying, uh, once I don't trust you, I'm out the door. Girl, well, you're not fit to be married. 
Because if you out the door every time someone does something that breaks your trust, then you're not fit to be married. You mean to tell me you willing to walk out the door because your husband told somebody you want an RN and you really an RN? That's ridiculous. That's You know what? That is ridiculous. That's an excuse. And she started talking about if I can't trust you um, with, with my emotions, I can't trust you with my body. I'm a lot of women to say that, and I do understand that. But when, I, when it comes to Morgan, it's just an excuse to keep them walls up. Let me tell you, anything Ben does is going to be another reason to have another wall up. That's why she switched from the betrayal being about that degree so now all of a sudden the betrayal simply is about the RN degree. Has, did y'all hear anything about the degree this episode? Absolutely not. Morgan don't want to talk about that part. She only wants to talk about the part where Ben was wrong, which was the degree. She don't want to talk about the part where she lied. Absolutely not. Because then she'd have to let the walls down. And that's what Pastor Cal said. Well, wait a minute. You in charge of them walls. You want to be in charge of the walls. You want, you're the one with the mighty kick from the Mutai. Why don't you kick down your own walls instead of requiring Ben to kick down all these walls? Because what Pastor Cal was correct. He don't need to kick down no walls. You need to just take them down. Because them walls being up over something like an RN degree is ridiculous. But that's it, y'all. Ben is lost. He's lost. He don't even really know who he is. To be honest with you, I don't think Ben is even fit for marriage himself. To be honest with you, because it's hard for you to be a partner to someone else when you don't even know who you are. And I'm going to tell you right now, Ben doesn't know who he is. Absolutely not. But that's it, y'all. What you think about my comments on this video? Drop down in the comments and tell me what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.